OK, welcome. So for this problem, uh, the way that I'm going to choose to do this one is I'm going to choose to do elimination uh, because none of my variables have a coefficient of 1 or, or negative 1, or are they isolated. So I'm going to apply uh, elimination. And to do that, I want to make sure that one of my, at least one of my variables are going to have the same coefficient. It doesn't matter if they're both positive or both negative. So I see that between the x's and the y's, the x's are going to be able to find the easiest LCM, or least common multiple between their coefficients, where the least common multiple between 2 and neg uh, forget about the negative, but just between 2 and 4 is 4. Over here, between 3 and 5 would be 15. So therefore, I'd have to multiply a multiplier by the top equation and the bottom equation. So to get these to have the same coefficient, regardless of the sign, I'm going to multiply by a multiplier of 2. And make sure you multiply this multiplier by every single term in your equation to produce an equivalent equation. So when I do that, I get 4x minus 6y equals 16. And then down below, I still have the same exact equation. Now, the reason why I said is don't worry about the, what the sign is, because if you have two equations with, with the coefficients that are exactly the same, as long as they're exactly the same, if they have opposite signs, then you add the two equations. If you have the same sign, then you subtract. And the reason why is because all we're concerned about is eliminating these two. So if I have a positive and negative, by adding them, I get 0x, which now eliminates my variable x. Well, negative 6y plus 5y is a negative y equals a negative 6. Now to solve for y, I divide by negative 1, and I get y equals positive 6. That is a positive 6, sorry. So that would be a negative 6. Now, to find my value of x, I need to pick one of these equations to go back to. Now, I could use the one where I multiply by 2, but you don't have to. You can choose any variable you want, or either any equation you'd like. So therefore, I'll just use this original first equation. Now, I know that the value of y that makes this system true is at negative 6. So I'll plug in a negative 6 in for my y. So I get 2x. Um, plus 18 equals 8. Subtract 18 on both sides, and I get 2x equals negative 10. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals negative 5. Therefore, the solution of this equation is true when x equals negative 5 and y equals negative 6. And you could say the intersection of those two equations, if we were to graph them, would intersect at the coordinate point negative 5, negative 6. Thanks.